Welcome back guys to the Koi Pond Experience. In this video, we're gonna do a demo and review of this item. A salt meter or a salinity meter from the brand Saltmaster. It's a very basic equipment. And oh yeah, I have to mention this. Everything in here is Japanese. But from the illustration here, we can understand how to make this item work or how to use this item. So let's go ahead and open it. It's analog, it's not digital. Let's just dive straight into it and do a demo of how to use this item. So this two bottles of water here is three liters per bottle. Three liters of water, three liters of water. We're going to do a uh, three parts per thousand salinity here and five parts per thousand salinity here. To achieve that, one liter of water to achieve a three parts per thousand salinity, we need three grams. So if this is three liters, we're gonna need nine grams to have three parts per thousand salinity here. And if you need here to be five parts per thousand salinity, we'll need three times five equals 15 grams. So let's do that, I'm gonna show you. Okay, so for our purpose, this is a good 9 grams. <laughs> Let's put it here. 3 liters of water. So for our purpose, this 15 grams is good enough, okay? So 15 grams of salt to 3 liters of water. Here. And by the way, the salt I'm using is just your common table salt from the house, okay? It's nothing special. Just gonna put this away. Okay, so it's time to do the test. We'll start first with our three parts per thousand bowl here. To use this equipment, you have to dip this in the water in a vertical position. Dip it like that. Don't worry, water will come from the bottom to the top, then down again. So let's do it. Just an important reminder, in this demonstration, in order for the water to fill the salt meter, I had to slightly bend the position with salt meter at an angle so water could reach its topmost part where the water spillway is located. When it is your turn to do this step, remember to keep the device absolutely vertical or upright when dipping it in the pond to collect the water sample. I think that's it. Let me check it closely. We have a good reading, guys. It's exactly at 0.3% salinity. Convert that to parts per thousand, that's three parts per thousand. Exactly what we prepared. You see it? The arrow is pointing at 0.3. And you see the percent there? That means 0.3% salinity. Convert that to parts per thousand, that's 3.0 parts per thousand. Exactly what we prepared. All right. <laughs> Let's move on to the next bell. By the way, if you want me to make more videos like this, please comment below. Click the subscribe button so you'll know when a new video from me is available. And there it is once again guys, we have a good reading. We're getting a reading of 0.5% salinity. Convert that to parts per thousand, that's 5.0 parts per thousand exactly what we prepared for so there you saw how to use this uh, salinity meter from brand saltmaster once you finish using this you have to rinse this equipment properly and i recommend 
using distilled water. It's very simple, very simple to do, guys. And then flush it out. And then do it again. And just to be sure, do it again. When you rinse this, you remove all the salts that remain inside the equipment. Which will basically clean the equipment and make it last longer. Do not neglect this step of rinsing the equipment after using it. It's very very important. If you neglect doing the rinsing, this equipment will not last long. That's it for this demo and testing of the salt meter or salinity meter from Saltmaster. It was very simple to use it guys. You've seen it in the video and I highly recommend it. If you want to buy this, you can check out Koi Central at Facebook. They carry this item. So that's it. That's a wrap for this video. If you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up by clicking the like button. Let me know what you think about this video guys. I'd really love to get your comments. And if you've not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to the Koi Pond Experience. I really appreciate it and it'll keep you updated on new practical fish keeping ideas that I will be uploading in the coming days. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the next video.